Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Captain Marvel issue one. And before I start talking about Captain Marvel, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic You Know episode 130, which is the show where I review all the comics I've read this week in one show. And here are the exclusive comics. We have Deadpool issue six, Devolution issue one, Lucifer issue two, Postal issue three, Super Zero issue two, Sunflower issue 3, Astonishing Ant-Man issue 4, Patsy Walker aka Hellcat issue 2, Ms. Marvel issue 3, Injustice Gods Among Us year 5 issue 2, Batman and Robin Eternal issue 16, Wonder Woman issue 48, Star Brand and Night Mask issue 2, and Star Wars issue 15. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic You Know episode 130, which is annotated. But let's start talking about Captain Marvel issue 1. So yes, now uh, this is actually a new creative team for Captain Marvel. It's been a couple years since we've seen a, a new writer on this book because Kelly Sue DeConnick was writing the book for a really long time. So it's kind of cool to see a new fresh take on the character of Captain Marvel. So let's see if it was interesting and good. Uh, so yeah, I love the cover here. Uh, I, I really like um, Inca's artwork for, for the series. I think it works uh, for the style of what they're going for with this book. So, very cool cover. I like it. And going into the interior artwork, uh, I really like the artwork in the interior also. Again, it's kind of a bit on the cartoonier side, but it works. I also kind of like how Captain Marvel's hair is in this book. I thought they did that pretty, wa uh, pretty well with the stylized um, hair, of course. Especially because they make a comment of it in the issues. So, I like that. Uh, so, yeah, very good, bright artwork, uh, which I enjoyed. Let's see what's going on with the story, though. So in this issue, Captain Marvel's kind of joining a new chapter in her life. She became or is becoming the commander of Alpha Flight. And she's excited about it. She's like, cool, I'm going to be in space for two years. And of course, I could go back to Earth because that's my powers. But I'll pretty much be in space. And I like that. It's something new. I like doing something new all the time. Uh, so it's her, you know finding out what it really means to be the commander of Alpha Flight, and she sees that it could be a desk job, and she doesn't want that. Uh, she meets some of, the, some of the supporting characters at Alpha Flight, and she tries to take more of an active role than maybe previous commanders of the, of the ship. So now, uh, a big story going on is that there was this meteor that crashed into, uh, almost crashed into uh, the ship, and she finds out it might be her that's behind it. So that's kind of our big cliffhanger here. Um, so what I think of the issue overall, um, I thought it was an okay opening for, uh, Captain Marvel. I think they got her personality pretty correctly, and I like that. Um, I like some of the humor in the issue. I like that Rocket Raccoon made an appearance in the issue. Um, but my negative towards it is that I wasn't fully invested into the plot, and that's probably because I've never been interested in Alpha Flight, so I'm like, all right. Cool, I guess. Uh, I think something they really should do in this issue and should do in future issues uh, is build the supporting cast a little bit more. They definitely introduced the supporting cast, but they're not they're not likable yet. And I think that's something they could have done in the first issue. You know, grab your attention with these supporting characters. Uh, and uh, I guess you have an interesting cliffhanger, so that was cool with the whole Captain Marvel might be the one who's destroying the ship or whatever is going on with Captain Marvel. That was pretty cool, but it, it was a pretty average uh, issue one. Of course, I'll be continuing the series because I really do like Captain Marvel, um, but I wanted this issue to kind of blow my mind a little bit more. So, it's an average issue. I'm going to give Captain Marvel issue one three and a half stars, uh, and hopefully the series will grab my attention a little bit more with the next couple issues. So hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there's links from my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter, and don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.